Sports here, seventh episode today. Ah, the Toronto Maple Leafs. What a disappointment. This team right here. Uh, so they're on a six game losing streak. Uh, Leafs Nation is kind of upset. James Reimer, he's getting most of the blame. Uh, what do you guys think on that James Reimer situation? I don't think it's fair to blame the goalie. As you can see, they turn over the puck way too much. And to put the blame on the goalie, who saved the team all year, it's terrible. Yeah, he took the words right out of my mouth. They're not helping them out at all. Uh, yeah, uh, you know, Reimer, he's, he's not helping the situation himself. You know, the fundamentals aren't there. Um, but the blame... The blame should not be placed all on him, but it should be placed on him just a little bit, you know. He's not been great. No, not no, at all. He's no, just no. starting the games. He just he just couldn't do it. Mental, Sorry. mental, yeah. mental issues. I just think everyone's dumping a ton of pressure on him, and it's not fair. You know, it's supposed to be everyone gets blamed, not just one person. But when you're a goalie, it's hard to be a goalie because you make one mistake and it's the end of the world. Stop blaming Reimer. Now, next guy we have to talk about here. He's been terrible all season. Woo! -wee, stinking it up, David Clarkson. What do you guys think on that mediocre play? Uh, I don't know. Is it too late to send this guy down to the minors because this is terrible? Uh, he's getting all this ice time. He's clearly doing nothing out there. Not creating space. Not scoring goals. He's just fighting. We paid five million dollars for a goon. You already have Colton Orr. <laughs> I honestly don't know what he does. He goes out there. He just floats around. He doesn't do anything. He's got like four goals or something. I, I don't. I really don't know. <laughs> yeah, there's no really point to like uh, having Clarkson on the ice. He's just a goon, really. Um, I wish they could just take Connor Brown after Erie finishes uh, the playoffs and have him in the lineup over Clarkson because, you know, he's not doing anything right now. And, uh, yeah, he's just another Colt in Orr right now. I'm dead serious. Yeah, I, I think, honestly, though, if he didn't have such a huge contract, I don't think we would be talking about him, quite frankly, because, you know, they made such a big deal and now he's just like nothing. And not for anything. He does have talent, but he's been a huge letdown this year. Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Just, uh... But he's been stinking it up. I, I, I think we should bring Captain Matz out of retirement and have him <laughs> score a couple of goals for us. I'm down. You down, Matz? I think that's a yeah. I, I, I think so. So, guys, what can they do to improve? You know, there's nine games left in the season. They're third wild card. They're not even in the playoffs right now. Do you guys think they'll make the playoffs? And what can they do to improve? You think? Well, I hope they make the playoffs, but... Every media scrub Randy Carlisle has been saying, he doesn't even know what the possibilities of winning are, so like what they should do, and here's a wacky idea, guys. How about they put more goals in the other team's net than the other team puts in their net? That makes that sense. Makes that sense. sense. That's good. That's a lot of sense. <laughs> they really just need more offense from their top guys. Like the Bozak, Kessel, JVR line was hot before. They slowed down drastically now. The only offense I'm seeing is from the blue line and Gardner and, and Riley and yeah, other guys need to step it up big time. Yeah, same with me. You know, I think Phil needs uh, needs to just put his streakiness behind. Uh, same thing with JVR and Bozak right now. Um, I like the defense, Gardner and Riley. And Phaneuf, I think, has like a goal and three assists in like six games right now. So it's not bad. But again, you just got to focus more on the defensive part too. And maybe things could change. Yeah, you know, I, I, I think it's amazing. Or not amazing. I think it's good that the defense is starting to provide some offense, but they've kind of been like that all year from different players in D. But, you know, we can't just rely on the Kessel line scoring all the goals. It'd be nice to see guys Clarkson score more, Kuhlman, gotcha. Kadri, even even guys like Bolin coming back, even Raymond, providing more offense instead of just that one line. You just, you can't rely on, you know, I mean, so we've been relying so much on the first line. Bozak, even when he's been injured, we've been like pushing guys like Kadri, we've been putting a lot of pressure on him. And, uh, you know, it's, it's great to see guys like Gardner. They're becoming a lot more confident. They're scoring a lot more goals. Morgan Riley, you know, he's, he has about 20, 24 points or something as a rookie defenseman. That's really good. That's, he has more than Seth Jones, so that's good. And, um, yeah, I, think, I just think we rely too much on our first line and Kadri and Lupo all together. Maybe if we had more depth and we focus less on grit on like the third and fourth lines, then maybe we would be more of an offensive team. But as well, like defensive wise, we, you can't be letting 45 shots a game and expecting to win and make the playoffs. We're lucky Bernier has been like stealing every game or else Leafs, I don't even think we'd be having playoff discussions if We've Bernier been was playing one line team the 
whole year. Yep. We just relied on Bernier in the top line, and that's where all the production came from. Pretty much, yeah. So, in conclusion to all this crap, them losing six straight and maybe not making the playoffs, this whole Reimer, you know, Leafs Nation hating on Reimer, do you guys think Reimer's gone after this season? I hope not, because who do you put as a backup? Drew McIntyre hasn't really played enough games in the NHL, and there's not that many free agents out there. Maybe Martin Brodeur, but I don't see him leaving New Jersey after 20 years there, so I'd keep him. Yeah, I don't see him leaving either. He's going to stay there, but with Reimer, I think he'll be gone after all that's happened. Mentally, he's just not there. It's not a good place right now. We still have Bernie as the starter. You can keep McIntyre as the backup. I have nothing wrong with that. I thought to be, I think that'd be a pretty good duel. Yeah, yeah, I can see Reimer going 100% at the end of the season. Um, just he's not mentally there, as you guys said, and uh, it it's not going to change. I don't think so. I can see him going to Vancouver or the Islanders, and I don't know. It could be good for him there, but I, I don't know about Reimer, his future right now. I think it's I think it's not it's unfortunate because you know he is a number one goalie when he's on his game. It'd be nice to see him come back and you know play for the starting position again. But I think he's just mentally he's just like screw this. I'm tired of this crap. And you know it, he's a good goalie and he'll probably do better eh, with moving on than staying in Toronto. I think if he leaves, he's gonna go to a team that's desperate for a goalie. Let's I mean, be nice honest. Go to like Calgary, <laughs> Vancouver. Yeah. Like they just need someone. So like even Ryan will be like, you know what? I'm not getting. Hey, I'm not playing enough games. I'll go there, whatever. So I'll play games. But other than that, I think Reimer, he's, I think he's going to stay, really. I don't think he's going to leave. Yeah. Yeah. It's just, the like, I think they could see, uh, it depends how much teams offer for him, really. Like if, and how much he wants, uh, like, per year. Someone will overpay him. Yeah. Don't, I be, don't, don't be surprised if he even wants to head back to Winnipeg, back home to Winnipeg. I think so. Mm -hmm. Never know. Well, hopefully the Leafs snap out of this stupid losing streak. Reimer snaps out of it mentally, and the Leafs make the playoffs. That's this video, guys. Thanks for watching. Go Leafs, go. And uh, by the way, David Clarkson, smarten up.